Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we're going to be showing you how to change the sway bar links on a C6 Corvette. Hi, I'm Jennifer and you're watching the Corvette channel. Okay guys, this is what these uh, these links look like. Um, Dave went down to AutoZone and picked these up. They're universal for uh, for this uh, C6, and uh, so the fronts and the backs are identical. And so I've included the box here in the picture, and you, you can see the part number. They should be able to help you with that, not a problem, but um, these are just their everyday Duralast models. If uh, you know, if you're going to be tracking this car or racing it in any way, shape, or form, or you just want a lot, a little bit better performance, then you might want to be looking at getting the the full neo, neoprene ones because they make a lot better models. These are great for just every day because these are these are already going to be way nicer and better, um, and probably last. Uh, I believe these come with a lifetime warranty on them, so um, they're going to last way longer than uh, the the original links anyhow. So. Um, but this is what they look like, and now we're going to jump into the video, um, and Terry's going to go ahead and show you how to take these off and how to put them back on. These things are hard to get with a wrench, so I'm taking a breaker bar just to break them loose from their tightness to get it easier to work on. These are pretty tight. But once they come loose like so, they'll start spinning because that's what they're supposed to do. Then I'll take and I'll do the same thing with this one. This one right here, I'll do the same thing too. Uh, there we go. Now we can work on it. It's getting them off. You just got to kind of break them loose because they're kind of sealed. Now, I use a little ratchet wrench. It just makes it easier down here. And you just ratchet it off. This little wrench right here holds the, the, the stud. It's called a stud or a bolt, whatever you want to call it. And that just keeps it from turning because there's no other way to hold it. Once you get to where you feel it free, just take it off. Now the one at the top up here is a little different and a little different to get to. This one here, I use a ratchet and an extension so that I can get into the little bolt. I want to use a little wrench to get in here to hold that. And then I'll use this to take it off. Come on now, ratchet. Okay. It looks like I'm tightening it, but it's the way that I'm running the little bolt. I'm running it into the nut, which loosens it up. And that should be that one. There we go. Then you can just kind of finagle it out of here, like so. These here, the old ones, the old ones, they, they move real easy. As you can see, yeah, the new ones are a lot stiffer. Okay, just because they're good, right? <laughs> yeah. Now you just take and kind of finagle this in there. So the whole reason that we were changing these is because you'd go over a bump and it would sound like it was a big clunk at the on the front, and the back of the car. So that those the studs being all loose and free in there like that they just were wore out so we're just putting that's why we decided to change these and you take this one. okay now you've got both of them in it's just a matter of putting the nuts right back on it's actually a really simple thing you just got to play with it a little bit play with just about all of it now we'll do tighten these nuts up like I said, this one in the back right here is a little more difficult to get to, but it all works out good. 
put a wrench on the nut, put this on, and back it out again. So you're actually tightening it when it looks like you're loosening it. Yeah. As you can watch the wrench up there, it's going in a tightening direction, mm -hmm. and this one's going the other because you're screwing the bolt through the back side of the nut. Very cool. Sure beats trying to use it with a small little wrench, right? Okay, that was good and tight. Okay. Now we'll go to the front side. Okay. And I use a wrench, just a regular wrench, and this, and then you just tighten it up as normal. Just hold the little wrench. And that's about all there is to it. And now you have installed two new sway bar links. And, and you're done. Finished. All right. So that's, that's the fronts. Now we're going to move on to the backs. Okay, so what I'm doing is basically the same thing. I just want to break these loose so that they're easy to go. So they're not so tight. Now, I can take my wrenches and undo these. So we'll start with this guy right here. Now again, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, the links are, are the, the same front and back. So basically what you saw Terry doing in the, in the front um, he's doing here on the back. Um, you're gonna find though that there is more room to work So it's a little bit easier on the back uh, to do it um, so uh, These here I have myself have done the rear ones on the floor um, you can and you, I'm sure you can do the front ones on the on the floor, but uh, There's just definitely not as much room. So you're probably gonna be custom those a little bit but they can be done, but uh, it's just nice that we have the the option of being able to put them on the lift here One for me to be able to show you guys how it's being done um, And that you know, we're not having to do it on the floor. So Okay, let me get a little bit different angle here Let me from the other side No, it'll be good It just some some nuts are just harder than others sometimes and you just got to kind of fight with them a little bit, but everything will come apart. If you can't get it apart with the wrench, they got a thing called a torch. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. <laughs> no, no that's just easy. I'm just funny. I know. <laughs> okay. And done. Now we just replace the other one, the new one. I think I actually found a really good angle here to be able to okay just don't want the car to fall down on me right here I that would suck I, I don't think so <laughs> if it does we got a lot of land to bury you on Scott oh great that's nice <laughs> <laughs> you guys heard it if I'm missing you guys have to come looking for me I'm up in Browns Valley <laughs> <laughs> you'll be missing all right okay I'm having a little bit of a problem getting this lined up so let me try something here let me get this out, and let's just put this in here, and then come down here. There we go. Little, just a little finagling and stuff like that. Takes a little patience at some point, which I probably really don't have a whole bunch of that. <laughs> okay. I tighten up the bottom one just because it's the hardest to do. So I'll do it first.
These aren't hard to do. They're just in an it's inconvenient just a, They're just spot. in awkward places. You just got to kind of find a place that's comfortable for you to work on it. There you go. Plus this ratchet keeps, this is one of them that's going to be replaced. It keeps skipping on me. Okay, that's that one. Now we'll go to the upper. This one here is easy because you can use the big wrench. Okay. Okay, good to go. Rear's done. Okay. So there you have it. That's how we uh, we changed the, uh, the sway bar links on a C6 Corvette. Thank you for watching the Corvette channel. Don't forget to hit like on the video and make sure you subscribe.